It is windy out there. I can hear our station just shaking out there because of how strong these winds are. West, 36 miles an hour. That's sustained. That's not the gusts. And the gusts, well, they're causing the camera to almost fall off the hinges. That's also causing large scale dust and low visibility across the entirety of West Texas and the Permian Basin. So what are we looking at here? Well, we're looking at wind advisory for much of the inland counties or more so the Permian Basin, high wind warnings for all of the western counties near the mountains, and then red flag warnings on top of it because of how dry and how warm it is, although it's not nearly as warm as what we saw yesterday. But let's look at these gusts. Yeah, I can see why my camera is about to fall off. 61 mile per hour gusts out of Odessa, 53 out of Midland, Big Spring not too bad, 38 miles an hour, 58 out of Wink, and 46 out of Pecos. No significant weather is across our area, but just outside, yeah, I'm looking at a line of showers and thunderstorms, some of which are turning severe, moving out more so towards Stanford and Abilene. Multiple severe thunderstorm warnings in effect, lots of lightning. We're missing all of that, which is both good and bad. Good because we're not getting the severe aspect of the weather. Bad because we can always just use a little bit of rain. I just don't want it to be severe. And I think all of you guys can agree with me on that. Overnight tonight, I see us dropping down into the 40s. Pretty normal for this time of year. Upper 40s, 47 for Midland, Odessa, 43 for Andrews, 39 for Hops, a little bit warmer farther south. Sanderson at 52, 50 for Ozona. So as you're heading out the door in the morning, yes, yeah, still some of those strong gusts, but they're going to be changing. We got a cold front coming through, so tomorrow afternoon, below average highs. Yeah, look at that, 65 degrees north winds, about 20 miles an hour. A little bit of partly cloudy skies in the afternoon, but most of that should go away as we head into the later parts of the day. Notice no significant rain chances, a little bit of clouds in the early parts of the morning popping up again in the afternoon, but then it all just kind of goes away, and we're left with plenty of sunshine, nice calm winds going into Wednesday as well as Thursday too. So the winds, yes, they're finally calming down, picking up a little bit during tomorrow afternoon and again maybe 20 25 miles an hour and then they're not a problem at all i think we can all appreciate that we've had enough of this blowing dust for at least the last week but hey it's west texas it's that time of year where our temperatures are changing drastically so we have to get deal with some of the wind at least we don't deal with the severe weather associated temperatures warm back up so yeah the qu quick cold front it's gonna be quick back to the 70s back to those 80s and you know what we're kind of staying nice and consistent small rain chances look to be happening a little bit next week i'll keep you updated on that for more details juliana all right jordan